Ariane, global trend expert, you know, we were talking earlier, there's a $74 trillion economy that we're all looking at. So, I mean, I think we ought to ignore kind of economic news because even if it collapses, there's still a lot of business for us. But the one thing I don't think businesses can ignore are the trends. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think uh, for all businesses, it's very important to create a vision about the future, about what the business wants to achieve. Yeah. And I think consumer trends are a really good way to do that because if you want to really bring value to people, you need to understand what they need. And so that's what consumer trends are here to help. Yeah, you know, at Fortune, we just looked at the 100 fastest growing companies mm -hmm. in the world. And old Winnebago was one of the fast growth companies, but mm -hmm. it's because of a social trend, the aging mm -hmm. of the population. I thought it was interesting at Zappos that the one thing they're putting in is a doggy daycare, and mm -hmm. we're now spending more on our pets than we are our children. What, mm -hmm. are, what are some of these other trends that we ought to be looking at as business owners? Mm -hmm. I think a really big trend, and it's not new, is around sustainability, because it just mm -hmm. makes sense. And I think a lot of the examples that we saw today from the other uh, speakers were also related to, to that, to sustainability with like small cars, you know, like yeah. they don't consume a lot of energy. And just uh, also the other example from that post, like trying to understand how the city is working and what are places that can be reused, you know, instead of just being left, you know, to, to despair. Uh, so I think that's a very important uh, trend. I think this other idea of uh, happiness, since we were uh, talking about that and understanding how we can help people feel happier with their lives, get access to more well-being is really important, whether it's through learning or through education or you know, uh, feeling more connected to the people around us. I think those are really important uh, trends. Now, you labeled your entire presentation mm -hmm. with a title yes. that was an overarching trend. Talk a little, share what that is. Yeah. And so every, for every report I do that, there's always yes. a setting up the scene. Yeah. And this year it's called the reinvention era because I think when I look at the massive democratization of digital tools, mm. that more and more people have access to uh, technology and therefore to different point of views and perspectives. And as a result of that, people are able to go beyond their mental script, beyond what they've been told, yeah. to really reinvent themselves and the world around them. So that's why it's called the reinvention era. Yeah, and we're seeing that with Elon Musk. I mean, mm -hmm. he has changed five industries, and he mm -hmm. seems to continue to, to move forward, but it's now something we all can do Absolutely. with the digitization of Absolutely. the world. Good. Absolutely, and one of the quotes from today that impossible is nothing, you know, it's just yeah. a, a fake concept that you have in your mind is really what I'm trying to say as well with this book, you know, like uh, it's not enough to complain, you need to come up with the solutions and yeah. we have the opportunity now. Well, Ariane, we appreciate you being here, sharing these powerful trends for all of our businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>